Somewhere in space, this may all be happening right now. 20th Century Fox and George Lucas, the man who brought you American graffiti, now bring you an adventure unlike anything on your planet. Star Wars. Here they come. The story of a boy, a girl, and a universe. It's a big, sprawling space saga of rebellion and romance. It's a spectacle, light years ahead of its time. I am C-3PO, human-cyborg relations, and this is my counterpart, R2-D2. Hello. It's an epic of heroes. Good luck. And villains. And aliens from a thousand worlds. Star Wars, a billion years in the making, and it's coming to your galaxy this summer. very bad feeling about this is not something i would say today as fine movies fine spirits finally is venturing a long time ago to a galaxy far far away that's right we're talking finally the original 1977 classic star wars or episode four or a new hope or star wars episode four a new hope to me it will always just be star wars and while i'm talking star wars i'll be honoring the late Uncle Owen and Aunt Baru, who loved their blue milk with something I'm calling a blue stormtrooper, which is basically a white Russian with blue food coloring. Oh my As God. you may have guessed. So lame. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what you bring to the table tonight. As you may have guessed, I'm not talking about Luke, Han, and Leia alone. No, with me tonight are, well, some might say you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. First up... Love it is Christopher Morris. I should have expected to find you wearing that mic headset. I recognize your foul stench when I started this Zoom. How are you doing uh, this evening? And what are you drinking tonight? And be quick, because it's almost someone's bedtime. Do, doing well, Michael. I am uh, appropriately drinking this IPA. I don't know if you can see that. Save the robots. Excellent. So East I'm Coast drinking... IPA. That's on theme because there's robots. I'm drinking blue milk because it's because it's in the movie. Let's see where we go from here. Next up is a man who some might consider a little short for a stormtrooper, Mr. David Corsetto. How are you this evening and what are you drinking? That's the intro I get after you're drinking semen from a fucking stormtrooper. That I'm was drinking a line in the movie. Blue milk. It's also a line in the movie. Have you seen the movie? I've seen it a few hundred times. Yes. And actually, I have a little story about that. I. We didn't like my brother had it on VHS and I remember, you know, liking it and everything, but I never thought other people or I never thought Dave would like it. Uh, and we went to Montreal <laughs> and we went to Montreal and we got there and it just really wasn't for us. So by eight o'clock that night, we were in our room Wait, watching. You heard that, right? Dave was. Oh, Dave Montreal, was, the city wasn't for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the, when all we the got boobs and stuff. Oh, yeah, it was. It, we, 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 we got a, our quick. Um, Fill of it pretty quickly, pretty quickly. It happened. And then we're like, okay, 
let's go back. This guy was already was working night, so he was exhausted. And when we got back to the, the hotel, I had my VHS, my old video camera that I could use to play movies. And we watched Star Wars on, mm -hmm. uh, on the wow. hotel TV. So, so normally I, when I say, you know, you're a Star Wars nor nerd, I'm a movie nerd. I don't use it. I'm not using it uh, pejoratively. Right. So not negative. No, no. It's, it's just, a, it is it's, a, yeah. When I say that was so nerdy for you to do that in Montreal, that <laughs> yes. is, is, no, it's, is used that way. And, and actually, it seems like it fits me very well. I don't know if it fit him. I think he just might have it been overly bad, tired. It was just a bad time in my life, to be honest with you. It was a bad. I, that's it what was I had just to, a weird, yeah. Freshman. My life was that, that, that week we went. I'm not kidding. I think I was a freshman in yeah. college. And what was it? What did you say? I think that was the deepest depression I've ever had in my life was that mm -hmm. month. Mall security, working nights. You were like... You woke up at six at night and you go, it's six in the morning. Shut up. And we're like, it's nighttime. Yeah. We're going out. Six yeah. nighttime. We're going out at 6 p.m. Now you're going to Turks and Caicos tomorrow. It's yeah. all right. It's, there you go. That's much better. Enjoy. Yes. Enjoy. He's got he's to wake up at 4 a.m. So we'll see how how long three. we get him. 3 a.m. Geez. I'm going to go with 3. So, well, it's only, it's early. So we yeah. got so, And I got a gummy to put me to bed in 15 minutes, they, the guy said. Oh, wonderful. So, wonderful. Right out tonight. Try not, don't travel with it though. I don't know if that's legal or safe. I, I, I did. Right. I concealed it in my, uh, my, up your other... ass. No, I did. I concealed them all. That's good. Just put them in, like, put them in the Sour Patch Kids. You'll find me in a Turkish this... prison. I'll actually be going to Turkey. You know, I didn't know I was going to Turkey. <laughs> You're going to a Turkish prison. He's in. We're going to be doing that movie next. Why am I drawing a blank? What is, what is that movie? What is that movie, Mike? What? Pulp? You... No, the Turkish oh. prison. Oh my! Oh, uh, uh, something about Mary. Wait, what? Oh my God! You, you, I'm sorry. It's a grown-up movie. You probably I, never saw it. <laughs> when the guy goes to goes to uh, prison for smuggling drugs in Turkey. I never saw. Is you? T I I don't know what you mean. I don't know. There were, there were no monsters. There were no uh, no boy wizards. No, no boy wizards. Gandalf wasn't in that movie. Gandalf. <laughs> Midnight Express. Oh, Midnight I've Express. I, you haven't uh, seen it, right? No, Early, definitely not. One of our yeah. early... <laughs> Say that again, Dave. One of our early movies. What is that we watched? No, oh, mid not Midnight. Run. Not Midnight Run, Dave. Midnight oh. Express. Oh boy, Did you ever see that? No, I've never seen it. Good thing I'm going to edit all this out. Yeah. Well, no. It, <laughs> I think it stresses how many movies my co-hosts have seen. No, I have not seen many. He, seen, <laughs> he was thinking Polar Express. Very different. So, uh, let me get... Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. What, yes. when was it, talk about the so, first time you, you've seen... Yes, uh, so, so Star, Star Wars, Wars you know, came out in 1977. I was one year old. Uh, I Honestly, to me, there was never a world without Star Wars, but I didn't see it in the theater. Obviously, I was one. I didn't see Empire in the theater. The first Star Wars movie I saw in the theater was uh, Return of the Jedi. Mm -hmm. But you guys are slightly older, so do you, like, and I'm thinking the first time I saw it was probably, like, on TV, like on a Sunday really? night of the movie on I, ABC. Because there I was no VCRs then yet yet either. I, I, I don't remember the first time I saw Star Wars, to be honest with you. It was just always there. Yeah, you were probably three or something. But I agree with Mikey. I don't, I, I don't think I can remember not ever having a part of my life. I've always... Love this movie. The question I have is, yep. does it hold up today? With we'll yeah, you get call to me that. Older with that, you call. We me. will get to that. Yeah. But we'll, we'll, what, what about you, Chris? Do you have a memory of the first time seeing it? I, I definitely do. I do. As as so my, much older. Uh, my friend Brian pointed out, it is such a. It's a big Gen X movie. You know, our age, my age, and oh. we. I was seven, and I I remember even before seeing the movie, my cousin saying, "Oh, you know, he was." recreating the spoiler alert the obi-wan darth vader scene and he's like and then he kills him <laughs> so you know kind of kind of spoiled it. it it reminded me of my neighbor who told us about the rocky two fight before we we got a chance to see that and rocky gets up first so but um yeah it was we saw it in the movies my brothers and i um loved it so disclaimer though did you you know i don't know if we're going to get a new audience with this we, we're not besides michael we're not you know always been a Star Wars fan. I'm not a, I'm not an expert. 
So I wouldn't like. I'm going to you. I'm nerdy, for the, but um, I like, and I listen to some podcasts. The ships and the <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, I know the Millennium no, Falcon. I I've watched this movie a, a fucking million times. However, the fr- I did see I did see Empire Strikes Back and Return in the theater. So it must have been. Yeah, no, that makes sense because you were a little young. You were probably you know yeah. three or four. I was so, four. My, we had a millennium. Of course, we had the, all the toys in the millennium Falcon. Yeah. I think there's still um, a Lando Calrissian buried in my backyard at Sycamore. I swear it's back there. Nice. It was obviously such a big movie for my brothers and I as kids. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna talk about this as a standalone movie, yes. right? Because in case, I so, mean, but this... also like you know, actually Lucas. You know, I don't know how much you're gonna get into, but Lucas didn't know if he was gonna be doing you know additional movies right. he had written a lot of stuff but he didn't know didn't know if this was going to be a standalone movie so some of the plot you know as that you know the leia yeah. and luke stuff obviously a little smoochy you know, smoochy he, yeah there's a little basically trying to wanted to bang a sister the whole movie <laughs> little weird a little so, weird but he tries to write his way out of it no uh, mike world mike no, world. A sister creep that is big in the porn world the uh you know the Family, never mind. Um, so, but welcome I was all saying, you new listeners. This blown, but this must have blown. This blew people's minds. That's like, how I was. I was trying to watch it. Like, imagine seeing this for the first time. Just the, the, crate like the, uh, the shots that they never did before with spaceships. You used to have like a spaceship holding oh. a string, you know, pulled by. Like the the innovation that they that they did for this movie is, you know, it changed the Absolutely. movie world forever. The, um, what was his ILM? ILM? Yep. Was that Lucas? The, the yeah, I think he the effects company that, that he created. Industrial so it's, light and magic. We had talked. I don't know if we had talked about doing Empire, but uh, like I said, this movie impresses me, especially looking back. Like, just it doesn't seem like it should work. You know what I mean? Or it doesn't seem like it would work. The space western. There's a lot of you know, a lot of obviously takes from other movies. He. he Lucas mentioned, you know, um, is it Flash Gordon a bunch of times? Flash right? Gordon, that makes sense. Those um, old serials. Flash Gordon, even James Bond. He, he, um, you know, I think it was Hidden King, Kingdom or Lost Kingdom, a Japanese samurai movie yeah. that has. Oh yeah, the samurai. You, yeah. Like my bro, my buddy Brian pointed out, a lot of you know symbol, a lot of like the Zen Buddhism of Obi Wan. Which and, kind of uh, reminds me of like Tarantino, movies. where he he takes these you know these genre movies that he loves and he puts his own twist on it. Yep, kind of like that, and it's kind of got a you know kind of a straightforward plot. It is pretty direct. Yep, you know it's a, kind of like a King Arthur, you know the young, and, and it's got Merlin the magician his his mentor, and it's it's just it just works, right? It just it's it's amazing that even no big no big stars really besides, um, Alec Guinness and. Besides well, Sir Alec Guinness, and, and who didn't Ford. want to re- he didn't want to be doing it really. Well, how, how Harrison Ford, Ford wasn't a big star. He was a, He did American but, Graffiti, which but, is what yeah, yeah, with which which is what allowed that success to that movie allowed Lucas to do this. I you know you guys probably heard that podcast making Star yep. Wars or whatever it was, and yep. it's crazy what he went through and what he you know and then. And, you know, I guess Fox, the, the they, they thought it was going to fail. The executives there, they're like, it's going to be a failure after after seeing it and everything. And then, obviously, it just exploded. I actually so, read it. Spielberg was blown away by the movie. Completely blown away by that? it. I, I was watching the whole thing on Spielberg a couple of weeks ago on HBO Max. Little plug for Spielberg. Yeah, it sounds like he was the most, he was the only supportive. He was like the, the most only supportive, supportive. Yes. guy to Lucas. Just it was in awe. He said, "This is going to be. A, this is going to change movies." He, when they said, yep. you know, a lot of his other friends were like, you know, Coppola was Coppola like, "You're like terrible. you're weird. This doesn't kind of work." Yeah. Uh, so it's interesting how like they had a that whole group of directors. They're all they were all young then. Yeah. Uh, Scorsese, all of them hung out, and they're all like, "What the fuck is this?" So besides Spielberg. Kind of cool. So I, I do want to answer your question. Does it hold up? I say 100% yes. I watched this and all it made me want to do is watch all the other ones. Even the ones I don't like, even the ones that aren't as good, even the prequels. I was like, I just want to watch every Star Wars movie again now. 
because it just oh yeah it's it got me into it it yeah. it, it got me excited and it's very entertaining you know it's it's funny because the first 30 minutes is just it's focused on the droids yep you know and then it's just you know I guess it's like it's like a turkey dinner that's how i have to equate this to. it's like a, just a good old home cooked meal it's easy to watch relaxing it's comfort food for movies that's true yeah uh, i would say that yeah, I guess. I Especially mean, for our wild. growing up with us, like for us who grew, grew up with it. My, so my one one other thing about my buddy Brian, I already gave him three shout outs. Um, hey, Brian. <laughs> but he, he mentioned to me that, you know, of his memories, great memories of him. You know, he had a lot of older brothers and sisters and um, mentioned going with with his dad, just the two of them. To, to, he just remembers specifically going to all three Star Wars, so it's a good memory for people of yeah. our age. So I would say the I first know, three, not all three. I, but I don't know if I love the first back and docked at the movies so many times. I don't oh, know if I love no. That. Oh yeah, I no. Talk about but, that too. We, we'll we'll get to right. Well, Mikey, yeah. you, I mean, you certain scenes, especially um, hand shot for Han. I'm sorry, you know, like we got to pronounce for Han shot for us, but. Yeah, I mean, um, Watching one the, of the, oh yep. go on, no I was gonna say as far as not holding up and this might be a thing with like Lucas movies I don't think he might not be a great director getting the best performances no right yes so but that's kind of important because I don't think there's any great acting that is a criticism there's no really great acting in this movie well you see but, the acting gets better in the next two and then in the prequels you're like holy shit some of this acting or some of the directing, oh. I don't know. Just he acted, yeah. he, directed, he directed New Hope and Phantom Menace. He directed right? New Hope and he directed all three of the prequels. He did direct all three yeah. of the prequels. Yep. In fact, Phantom those are like considered independent. He he did them all, funded them all himself, and then sold them to 20th Century Fox. I didn't mind Revenge of the Sith. I did okay, we're not getting into the. We're, we're, this is a standalone. <laughs> we're talking standalone Star Wars here. Yeah. He's putting his foot down. Speaking we, of, because we, we may do something like, uh, you know, one of the prequels that directly has to is, is involved with the Death it's a, Star. It's plans. a, it is a, it is a <laughs> prequel that's literally in the opening crawl of this movie. Uh, right, right, right. So, just want to go through some of the the stats, the basics. Uh, well, oh, more not. Well, shut up. You could actually say Rogue One. The ending of Rogue One is the beginning of New Hope. Holy shit! Thanks for catching up. That's what we. That's just... what I. That's what we were just saying. That that could be our. Uh, oh, we may sorry. do that one. It's, a great sorry, movie. it's just funny. You just. Oh, stop! 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 Oh, no, no. Anything else? Anything else you want to say? Bad oh, about good. me? Good. Go to bed. So, Star Wars, nineteen seventy-seven, as we said, written and directed by George Lucas, starring Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher. Alec Guinness, I put everyone there. Peter Cushing, Anthony Daniels, Kenny Baker, Peter Mayhew, and the voice of James Earl Jones. It has a Rotten Tomato score of anyone? 89. I, you know, I didn't even see it. It's probably too low. It's probably 92 or something. Ooh, look at you. 93 critic score, 96 audience score, uh, a Metacritic score of 98. It is on the AFI's greatest American films list of all time, number 13. It is Get right the fuck up there. Out. Yeah. You heard me. I believe I got that right. Yes. And on a budget of eleven million dollars in nineteen seventy seven, it grossed four hundred and sixty almost four hundred and sixty one million dollars in the US, seven hundred and seventy five million dollars globally. Again, nineteen seventy seven. I didn't see what that is for money today, but it's gotta be up there. And that doesn't even touch the, you know, as part of Lucas's deal when you know when American Graffiti got popular. Remember that he went back to renegotiate his contract for Star Wars, and his agent was like, "Oh, you want a lot more money, right? Than, than a uh, hundred grand, or was it a hundred grand? Uh, or was it ten grand, or Didn't something he... crazy?" Yeah. Um, and he's like, "I want the rights to the sequel rights and the product, which right. is the merchandise, which insane. Th this movie definitely changed merchandising uh -huh. forever. You know, for movies, so." I'd and say Alec, that was a good move by him. Yeah, and Alec Guinness also didn't he? Didn't he? He negotiated uh, points or percentage, so he made did. He did. He also. I, I knew tremendous he, amount of money off this. He made way more money than he had his whole. Uh, by the way, well, we'll get to it. 
Carol Elkinis. And uh, the Academy Awards in 1978, it won for Best Art Direction, Set Direction, Best Costume Design, Best Sound, Best Film Editing, Best Visual Effects, Best Music for John Williams' Original Score, and a Special Achievement in Sound yes. Effects. It was nominated for Best Picture, lost to Annie Hall. Best Original Screenplay, lost to Woody Allen for Annie Hall. Best Director, lost to Woody Allen for Annie Hall. And Best Supporting Actor for Alec Guinness, lost to Jason Robards in a movie called Julia that I am not aware of. Annie Hall. What's that? You love Woody Allen? Have you seen Annie Hall? I can speak from when I say no, he hasn't. I have. I have too. It's really good. I've seen Annie. Is Annie Hall the sequel? Did she grow up? Thought of that myself. um, I was talking about Sir Alec Guinness. He certainly doesn't give a performance as 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 good as Ridge and the River Kwai, which is uh, I was going to make a it. segment. I'm like, has Mikey seen it? And I'm like, well, that's not even that's not even like well, that's not it. even fun that one. But you know what? As much as I shit on, shit on the acting, you you mentioned that they won sound. I had not a hot take, but a thought. This movie is this the best sounding movie of all time? With and the, I, I wonder what with we're the listening. Tie to. fighters, the sounds of the tie fighters, the like just R two D two. It is incredible. The, the lightsabers, the different not to mention the to score, and but just the blasters, a, everything. It's, every, it's unbelievable. Yeah. They do, a but I'm job. wondering how. What when we're watching? Did you watch it on Disney Plus? Like how no. much? No. Oh, how did you watch it? Just some. Uh, so just bought it on even though we had we had it somewhere else when somebody was over just bought just bought it on comcast oh, okay so that's <laughs> interesting so so did you see cuz on disney plus it is the the special version with jabba in it before he was a hut even yes. though they turned him into a hut so, okay so it's like i'm watching this and i didn't mind i mean it, the special effects aren't great but I'm thinking, how? What am I seeing that was original? I know, oh, certain of when I see effects that didn't look great, I said, okay, right, right, right. I like this because I know this is from '77. Sometimes it just looked. Sometimes you could just tell it was too digital or little little things that the, the scene with Greedo. Well, Greedo, that, that whole thing, it? yeah, Greedo. Then it's they, terrible. Then they, like I know they yeah, added it. They they added in, which we'll get. But then they added in like, do you get it when he says McClunky? That's new for the Disney Plus version. It was like he add know. he said the oh, word. Really? It's, they also changed the chess game too. On um, yeah, the they board. changed a lot. A lot, yeah. Really? yeah. Little things. It's just him tweaking. Which okay, you want to tweak things and make them better. But I wish the original was like a oh, special, a special digi- edition. What's the difference between digitally enhancing music? Right, they do it all the time for all the older bands. I guess. So- like it's keep- remixing it, but it doesn't make it sound it's, that different. No, I think it's just. It's not I think it's just. It's- I think it jades Drastic. the people that watched it growing up, you know, more than the people that are just starting to watch it now. Yeah, like it doesn't change the story in any way. It no. doesn't make it. And like... I think that's what made this movie so great. It was the story. Yeah. For me, not so much the sci-fi. Right. Right. Um, I I used to yes. love watching the making of how they did all the the how they. The, the spaceship models would stay in place and the cameras oh, would it looked by. great all those it like looks great i used to love the behind the scenes stuff just those uh, the shots of space are uh, but like I the star think. wars fandom out there like there is i just found out today there's something called a 4k 77 where someone has the original 1977 print and they restore it to 4k and i don't know where wow. it's available it's clips of it on youtube but it's like the fandom out there of people wanting to get the original you know what was yeah. put out in theaters before? Like I, when you were texting me earlier, you kept talking about a new hope, a new hope, and I, I don't even refer to it as that. Like it's yeah. weird, you know. Like because in 1977, it didn't say Episode Four, New Hope. It just yeah, no, that's what I have. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was. It was uh, that that was added in 81. I 81, guess, right? which was... is weird because it came out after Empire was first released. So Empire was the first one right. to say Episode Five, and that must right. have been like, what the hell are we that's... talking about? Well, by that point, right? They're like, we know these are all going to get made. Yep. But um, I forget what I was going to say. Do we know? Yeah, when George, do we know when George Lucas really wanted to make the prequels? When did that enter his mind? Probably. Well, he, I think he had an idea of of the whole world before 
you know, before it came out. He yeah, just he didn't had his know own, he had his own seven, successful. eight, nine too. Yeah. That they did not go with. Really? Yeah. Well, he, he was brought in, he had story ideas when he sold everything to Disney for episode seven. They were like, Oh, thank you, George. We're going to go in our own direction and remake but, Star yeah. Wars. They should have probably just went with him because they re- just did all because, the Star Wars. Right. They could have gone with him, but then, you know, just work with the dialogue because that's where you see the empire. They bring in another director and other writers to help with him. And it gets exponentially better. Even though I love this one the most. I like it really has a nice, yeah, it, th- this one has a, this one, like I said, it, it, because of the degree of difficulty, you know, it was the first one and all that. I, I, uh, I think this is kind of underrated. Yeah, they do underrate. Which is it. rough to say, underrated. Everyone, for, everyone rates everyone rates um, Empire as the head and shoulders above the rest movie in this franchise. But... Most people, some people, this, but right. Yeah, yeah. me, it's yeah. one, two, three, just like that. Yeah, and and of course the movie we might do. Yes, the the direct <laughs> prequel to this. I don't know what it's called. I forget. I don't either. We'll, we'll talk about it someday. Uh, you want to get into it? Yeah. Shall we? Star Wars. Give me those Star Wars. Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to say. It, it, he originally wanted to call it the Star Wars, right? Did he want to call the, it the Star Wars? Is that why? I think so. Isn't like there was a book put out, the Star Wars? That's what the original play was or something? M- maybe. But it's. I was thinking about this today, and not to shit on it more, but is that the best title? What? Star Wars. Star Wars? I mean, it's... I just think there could have been something better. I don't even... I don't know. Plus, there was already a Star Trek out there. Now, you know, what? now we're going to have wars. I don't know. But it, anyways. It's I'm pretty it direct. Right, I'm watching it right now. Of course you are. <laughs> and I'm looking, watching a Han Solo scene. And I just... He hated this character, didn't he? For a while he did, yeah. He hated... The, I remember there was an interview where he said, I don't think I'd ever come back as Han Solo. They said, would you come back as Indiana Jones? He says, I'd do that in a New York minute. He yeah. loves Indy. Well, no, I kind of like, you know, I, I, don't, I don't blame him. He's not the best actor in the world either. As my, my buddy Dave is not a fan of his. But I've got a lot of friends with a lot of opinions. <laughs> <laughs> I do. They're all listeners. They're all listeners. Hey, guys. So um, there we go. I, I, thought he was, I thought he was great in this. He was charismatic. You know, it was like. He, he, I, 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 yeah, I thought he was. It, it, I mean, they're doing the best they can one, with, again, Lucas's dialogue. Scene. Right. They were like, what is this? They didn't even understand what they were saying. I, I like him as Indy better, but that's probably. Well, George Lucas wrote that too, didn't he? <laughs> right. I actually yeah. think his best performance is, and I don't even know, we, we have to do this movie too. I don't, I shouldn't mention other movies we're going to do, but The Fugitive, I think, is his best acting oh, performance. Pretty great. So, A New Hope. You get the scroll, which he wanted, which he stole from. Is, was that uh, Flash Gordon? Oh, is that where that came from? I, I believe like, yeah. he stole it from something like that. Well, Buck Rogers. I think so. One of those. Like... So you get the, you know, you get the great John Williams score right away. Talk about right the away. Rebel War. Won a battle. Stole secret plans for the Death Star. Mentions like I Princess said, that Leia. whole. That paragraph right there is is Rogue One. Or yeah, that... it, it is. Yeah. It was that funny, last... and it's you know it points. What's that? That last scene of Rogue One was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> so great, so <laughs> great. Let's talk about it. Then. Cut that oh. out. Snip that. Um, so it says Princess Leia is re- returning home with the plans. She wants to save her people <clears throat> and restore freedom to the galaxy. Good luck. And. Um, it was funny. It says, "Yeah, the, the the Death Star is the power to destroy a uh, entire planet." I was like, "That can't be true." I was I was joking. I was like, "That that that sounds like very very braggadocious." Well, they call it the Death talking. Star. I mean, it's I know. Well, it actually it. does destroy a planet, right? Um, um, so you get a great shot of space, and then you you. It, Hands down, you see it. Uh, you see a battle, a big already. People must be ship. like, "What the hell?" Like, <clears throat> at this <throat> point, did did any other movies come close to this? 
it's right. It's the way it just jumped into things too, right? The, the battle of, uh, so you see Leia's ship, which apparently is called Tanto four. Yeah. I would never that have might, that, that might've been added later. I think um, oh, there was so many things added later or the toys. You didn't know what they were called until they, it said on right. the toy. Yeah. It's definitely added later. <clears throat> and you see the big, um, star destroyer, right? Is that, is that the Imperial ship? cruiser? Captured. Is that what that is? Uh, it's, it's it's maybe it's a star destroyer i think i, I think i actually I, had the name somewhere but um is that the name of it the hardcore star wars fans so, already, already stopped listening They're like what is this? yeah they they turned it off, <laughs> like, they turned what, it off. The what do you mean bad i think why is he not talking bad, bad, <laughs> bad acting but you know they haven't even mentioned tatooine yet um so we, we you see C-3PO and R2-D2. C-3PO is already being a little The only two characters resumed. to be in every Star Wars movie. Well... Yeah, saw that. Yeah, every Star Wars movie, yeah. I think it said that, yeah. So they capture the ship. All the rebels are looking, you know, at the door. The stormtroopers, stormtroopers come in. Blasting, they overtake them, and you get the great entrance for uh, Darth Vader. Get like I'm watching Chewbacca right now. Where's his penis? He didn't have one. I'm just yeah. Like he really didn't have one. No, no. If you want a side story, they this executives actually said he should be wearing pants or shorts or something. (laughs) And Lucas said, Lucas said he doesn't have a penis. Yeah. And they're like, you really want us to tell? I think he was saying that to Alan Ladd Jr., the head of the head of the studio or an executive, and he said, "Yep, just tell him." Chewbacca has no penis. That's how they're, that's just their way of getting around these stupid studio execs. We'll get to that. Mikey, you have a porno on Chewbacca? (laughs) Dave, go to bed. Dave, your plane's leaving early. Get out of here. Go to bed. Chewie. He'll be asleep soon. Chewbacca. (laughs) No. What? Good. I thought you were going to say Chewbacca's penis is the name of your fantasy football team. I'm just watching Chewbacca run around. Like, Stop no watching the movie and talk to us. Okay, we haven't gotten to Chewbacca yet. Yeah, he's uh, not in the movie. Okay. So Doc does the thing where he lifts the guy by his throat. You hear, you hear the great James Earl Jones voice. The Death Star plans are not in the main computer. Where are those transmissions you intercepted? What have you done with those plans? We intercepted no transmissions. Uh, uh, this is a consular ship. We're on a diplomatic mission. If this is a consular ship where is the ambassador come on tear this ship apart until you found those plans and bring me the passengers i want them alive you ever hear the uh um, the david prouse on set like audio oh, it must is like be terrible huh it must be he's terrible got, like just a much a quieter voice he's saying it behind the mask and it's just like Thank God they, you know, I don't know if he thought he was going to be adding the voice later. They didn't know, right? They didn't know. They didn't have James O. Jones's voice. Um, they didn't know right away. They didn't. Really they didn't yeah. That makes. Uh, th- yeah, they talked about having someone else, and it was somebody too obvious, you know, too much that you would know. Oh, Orson Welles. They, they were like, we want Orson Welles' voice. And he's like, no, then it's like Orson Welles. It's way too obvious. So. They they get Princess Leia with the stun gun. R two gets in the escape pod. Now three PO gets in with the ejects. Did one of the guys come up and talk to Darth Vader and already have a horrible, like, speaking voice? No. Is there, from my understanding, is a lot of these actors were British actors, local people, and they, they dubbed dub. them with American, just terrible. It's the guys who talk like this to Darth Vader, and I don't know what time. It like you could. They, it seems really bad acting. Yeah, but it's yeah, just no. like bad voice. You know, ADR. It was bad acting and bad voice. Right, overwork. No. So when so, they shoot out, when they, when they shoot out R two D two and C three PO, and instead of like having to go on this massive hunt for these two droids, they could have just shot them right out of the sky. But like, nope. They could have, but there was no life form that yeah, was no life. some. Some people complain about the plot of, you know, they were like, they should have just, but they were like, there's no life form. Maybe there was, there's nothing in it. But when you think about it, it could have been like, well, what if the put, plans were on it? She could have hid the plans yeah. and you just blow them up. Right. You tell so later, I guess, later. I, you could what? see that. No, what did you do? Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> so uh, they take Leia to, to Doth. He wants to know what happened to the plans. She claims to be on a diplomatic mission. Darth Vader, only you could be so bold. The Imperial Senate will not sit still for this. When they hear you've attacked a diplomatic... Don't act so surprised, Your Highness. You weren't on any mercy mission this time. Several transmissions were beamed to the ship by rebel spies. I want to know what happened to the plans they sent you. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take it away! Uh, so they're trying to figure out Doth and his cronies. That's what I have. Um, he thinks she put it on an escape pod. One guy's worried about bad PR, I guess, of a, for, for the galaxy. We don't want to look too bad. Well, they are an empire. They're this. trying to... Uh, they must have some people fooled. Mm -hmm. So this is R2 and C3PO are on Tatooine. Tatooine. Filmed in Tunisia, I think. The desert. Really? It's been tough yep. for the actors. Yeah. Especially so, under a, into a, in a plastic suit like that. Yes. A metal, whatever it was. Probably. Whatever he had. Plastic. For, yeah. I don't even know then. Yeah. And that little, the little guy was like. Yeah. Kenny Baker's in there driving. <laughs> yep. So they're, they're arguing. C3PO's being a bitch like usual, calls R2 a scrap pile, kicks him. So these are like, um, I mean, when you're watching Star Wars, these are the first two characters you're kind of yes. really getting to know. It's one amazing. who does bleep bloops and, the, and then the, a fancy British robot. They're great the, scene too. Just great imagery, they're right? The yep. They're the original ARs, guys. Artificial intelligence. Taking over it's the world. AI, buddy. Our intelligence starts with uh, an I, dummy. I was going to say AR. Oh, boy. AI. <laughs> It, it, Mike, you'll edit that out for you. I will definitely you, not. So, uh, so the they stinger. see the bones of some sand creature, right? Yes, they, they. I love that that stuff. I love where there's just background adding to the world building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we, I don't exactly. even know if we ever see any of those again until some Disney Plus shows. Right, exactly. Um, which good stuff. So you see, cut to R two. I think they they separate. Right, we get the Jawas. Yeah, we see C three PO beaming eyes. C three PO gets uh, distracted by something shiny, probably a yes, Jawa. Uh, from a right, and then R two gets uh, zapped. He and gets zapped him. from those little guys. Yeah, they take him to their big garbage truck. Yeah, they're just they're like they're like scrap metal. They just they're like yeah, they recycle. Trash they're, harvesters, they're, yeah. like <laughs> they resell shit. It's pretty good. So they um. Right, they they put them under the craft, and the big magnet comes down, and sucks them up. They have a couple different other droids. I don't know who's in there. You see other? Was it one of them looked like Wally? There was that. There was one that. Um... Mikey, have you seen Wally? No. Oh, uh, great not. movie. Is that a robot? I've not. I'm kidding. You you I'm haven't? Kidding. Wow. No, I've seen. Oh. I saw uh, the movie it was based on Short, Short Circuit, starring Johnny Five. <laughs> um, those robots look kind of alike. True. All right. So. Um... So the stormtroopers are looking. Dave looks like he's at a club. All those lights shining on his face. I can't see him. So uh, the, the stormtroopers are there riding like a dinosaur. Yeah, yeah there's when you see the first like oh, that's digitally added. What is, that... what is the writing on the back of the stormtroopers' uniforms? What is that? The language, or because it's not in English. It's like I don't know if it's made up. It's supposed to be oh. their ID names, maybe. Mikey, I like how they do the the when they the edits the, the wipes. Yes, the classic the like the, the 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 yeah exactly the wipes the left to right just those yeah when they change that's Lucas scenes. loving cool. old old yeah. cinema. Pretty, you know, Dave might call it dated, but it looks it looks pretty cool. So, um, okay, so back to the droid vehicle that Jaw was uh, recycled as I had uh, selling their droids. Uh, so we get Luke Skywalker. His uncle's talking to the droid. Are they talking to the Jawas? Talking to the droids. Um, what's his name? Owen. Owen. Uh, Uncle, Uncle Owen. Owen and Baru. Yep. Yeah. Talking to C three PO. You, I suppose you're programmed for etiquette and protocol. 
protocol. Why, it's my primary function, sir. I am well versed in all the customs. I have no need for a protocol droid. Of course you haven't, sir. Not in an environment such as this. That is why I have been programmed. What I really need is a droid who understands the binary language of moisture evaporators. Evaporators? Sir, my first job was programming binary load lifters. Very similar to your evaporators in most respects. Can you speak, Bocce? Of course I can, sir. It's like a second language to me. I'm a yeah, All right, in. shut up. I'll take this. Shutting up, sir. What? What? Luke! <laughs> Take these two over to the garage, will you? I want them cleaned up for dinner. But I was going into Tashi Station to pick up some power converters. You can waste time with your friends when your chores are done. Now, come on, get to it. They're going to buy M and R2. Well, they're going to buy C-3PO and then... Right, Luke. That Luke, other R2 Luke unit starts whining was definitely right away. a toy. I wanted to go to Tashi to I get want... some power converters yeah. or whatever. I was going to like Tashi it. Station. It's almost That's comical, right? They make them so whiny. Well, he's supposed to be like so, 15, isn't he? Or 16? Yeah. I don't even know how old. So they, they get a red R2. Um, has some issues, which C3P... I always C3PO thought R2 points did out. something to it. But I, I, watching it this time... I Did he? I don't know. I, so I they, thought, they, they grab R2 instead. Luke points it out. So Luke Luke's hanging out with the with the two droids. He's cleaning R2, and they're talking about the rebellion. And um, Luke, Luke is like cleaning him, and that's when the... Transmission pops out the end of it at least. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. What's this? What is what? Uh-huh. Yep, I love. I and I like his reaction to like, you know about the rebellion? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, we've yeah, yeah. been a, you've been around for a long time, been a lot of things. Exactly. So we see the Leia. Help me, Obi Wan. You're my only hope. And he's like, Obi Wan. Like, Leia's beautiful. Obi. This is the first. Uh, yeah, first he got really first. First time he got honed up for his sister. Yeah. I'd be so, the first girl he's ever seen. Luke looks like, I wonder if that means old Ben Kenobi, right? Right, yeah. Obi-Wan Kenobi and, yeah, old Ben Kenobi. Uh, he wants to see the whole message. R2 stops. It doesn't, doesn't play the message for him. Uh, R2, so he's yeah, telling, he's very much like, no, this isn't for you. Yeah, this is private, you know. Pri- what is the word? Pro- is the property private? Pro- private proprietary. 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 Thank you, Dave. You didn't know A R A I, but <laughs> hook me up with that one. So they, he asked his aunt and uncle about the message. They look at each other. You see, they don't. They don't know anything about any rebellion or anything, right? They were drinking blue milk. You know, I think that R two unit we bought might have been stolen. What makes you think that? Well, I stumbled across a recording while I was cleaning him. He says he belongs to someone called Obi Wan Kenobi. I thought he might have meant old Ben. Do you know what he's talking about? Hmm. Oh, I wonder if he's related to Ben. That wizard's just a crazy old man. So tomorrow I want you to take that R2 unit to anchor head and have its memory erased. That'll be the end of it. It belongs to us now. But what if this Obi-Wan comes looking for? Him? He won't. I don't think he exists anymore. He died about the same time as your father. He knew my father? Just forget it. Your only concern is to prepare those new droids for tomorrow. In the morning, I walk them up there on the South Ridge working on those condensers. Yes. I think those new droids are going to work out fine. In fact, I'm uh, also thinking about our agreement, about me staying on another season. And if these new droids do work out, I want to transmit my application to the Academy this year. You mean the next semester before the harvest? Sure, there's more than enough droids. Harvest is when I need you the most. Only one season more. This year we'll make enough on the harvest that I'll be able to hire some more hands, and then you can go to the academy next year. You must understand I need you here, Luke. But it's a whole nother year. Look, it's only one more season. Yeah, that's what she said when the Bigs and Tank left. Where are you going? Looks like I'm going nowhere. I have to go finish cleaning those droids. Oh, and he can't stay here forever. Most of his friends have gone. It means so much to him. I'll make it up to him next year. I promise. <laughs> Luke's just not a farmer, Owen. He has too much of his father in him. That's what I'm afraid of. And you could look back on that and say, oh, oh, they know about the father, and they're just telling him a story. But um, what they yeah. tell him is, yeah, he 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 must that that Obi Wan Kenobi died around the same time as now. Was that who was who was Uncle? Um, what's Owen. His name? Owen to, related to Darth Vader. Who was it? He was okay. I do know this. 
He was his uncle. Oh, and no, wait, because didn't he, he was his mom's brother, literally in the, in like, I don't know. I, I, I know you don't want to go there, but in attack of the clones, remember he goes and sees uncle Owen and his mom. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I last saw that movie in 93. Not the greatest place man. to hide him with Doc's uncle, but you know, Hey, sure. Well, whenever that movie came out, I don't know. But I'm, I'm, I, I choose to look at it as they're covering for old Ben Kenobi as well. Yes. Yep. They're talking about it. And he's like, uh, and then Luke's talking about his future. He wants to go to the Academy. Owen wants to keep him for at least another year, the next harvest. Now, so this when is, he says the Academy, I assume he's like, I'm going to go work for the Empire because he doesn't know any better. The Academy, you're not, he's not. Rebellion, right? Why would you go to the Academy for the Rebellion? I would assume the Academy. Is that should be <laughs> that would be tough empire. to advertise for right the right. rebellion is the, the hidden thing <laughs> if he knows where the academy is <laughs> like that's my because it's <laughs> it's an empire that's a good question but no he would not go to the academy for the empire exactly mikey You're of, course he would. of course he would it's the empire they just they just they run everything so the, you know but he knows already he's 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 yeah, i know he but he wants to he just wants to get off that desert planet any excuse. So he gets the great, even with the great, you know, scenery they have at night. That's the next one's a great shot of the two moons look, look, looking up at the sky. Two suns. C three PO tells Luke, uh, "R two took off." Luke, Luke is all pissed off. So next day, Owen's looking for Luke. He and C-3PO, oh, he's in that hovercraft, right? Sweet ride. Oh, I, don't know what I had that. that is. Had little wheels on the bottom. Oh, I had that too. No, you stole that from me. <laughs> this is when we get the the Tusken Raiders? That, yes, but this back then they just called them the Sand People. That's what in the, the Sand Creatures, them, right. The sand so they're walking. Over. Right. What, what They're watching and one of them's riding like a wo woolly mammoth. They find R2. He's, he's freaking out. Um. Luke is looking through binoc binoculars, binoculars, and one attack, one does it. You know, I can't stands that, over whatever that noise him. is. Oh, yeah, it's pretty great. So they knock him out. Well, they knock him down. Um, they tear C three PO and... apart. Well, luckily, uh, some yep some hooded figure shows up and R two's hiding, right? Yes, that's right. R two's hiding in the. Right, they're uh... checking out his little craft, and that's when you see a hooded figure, someone in a robe. And he scares them off. They, they hate like confrontation. That's this large. Oh, which was Takes definitely off his different hood. than the original. Yeah, Sir Alec Guinness. Hello there. He says, "Why am I in this movie?" He says, uh, "Do I get to keep the hairpiece?" So Luke wakes up and says, "Ben, you know, Ben Kenobi." Then he tells him R2 claims to be property of Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's like, wow, I haven't heard that in a long time, right? Long time. So, and then I'm like, of course, I, he's like, you know him? Of course I know him. He's, it's me. So. so he's been keeping the secret for a long time. He's like, you know what, Luke? It's whatever. Let's just get this out in the open. I know. Obi-Wan <laughs> Kenobi. I right. In some movies, you would be like, he's not, he wouldn't even tell him, right? Yeah. He would We'd wait he would a little while like scene. Yoda did. Mm -hmm. Different movie. Sorry. I don't know what, I don't know who that is. Yeah. Well, Master Yoda. Okay, All right. I know who Grogu is. No, um, so this is where he says, uh, you know, of course I know him. It's me. Uh, we got to get out of here. They pick up seats. Three PO. He lost his arm, and Obi's telling Obi Wan is telling Luke about his father. He also fought in the Clone Wars. He was a great pilot. I do love that Tells they just a Jedi you know, comes Knight. up with all these terms that then yeah. years later he makes all these Jedi things. Knight. Yeah. Oh, in the Clone Wars, right? Right, yeah. right away, he gives Jedi. him a lightsaber. Like, you have no idea what a Jedi... Now you hear Jedi, you know, you kind of have an idea based on, you know, 40 years of of other stories, but just hearing it and talking about the old Republic and all these things, it was... Yeah. I loved it. It's great. So he sees him, gives him the lightsaber, tells him... He was the best star pilot in the galaxy and a cunning warrior. I understand you've become quite a good pilot yourself. And he was a good friend. Which reminds me, I have something here for you. Your father wanted you to have this when you were old enough, but your uncle wouldn't allow it. 
He feared you might follow old Obi-Wan on some damn fool idealistic crusade like your father did. Sir, if you'll not be needing me, I'll close down for a while. Sure, go ahead. What is it? It's your father's lightsaber. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. An elegant weapon for a more civilized age. For over a thousand generations, the Jedi Knights were the guardians of peace and justice in the Old Republic. Before the dark times. Before the Empire. How did my father die? A young Jedi named Darth Vader, who was a pupil of mine until he turned to evil, helped the Empire hunt down and destroy the Jedi Knights. He betrayed and murdered your father. Now the Jedi are all but extinct. Vader was seduced by the dark side of the Force. The Force? Now the Force is what gives the Jedi his power. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us and penetrates us. It binds the galaxy together. Now, let's see if we can't figure out what you are, my little friend. And where you come from. I saw part of the message. You... I seem to have found it. General Kenobi, years ago you served my father in the Clone Wars. Now he begs you to help him in his struggle against the Empire. I regret that I am unable to present my father's request to you in person, but my ship has fallen under attack, and I'm afraid my mission to bring you to Alderaan has failed. I have placed information vital to the survival of the Rebellion into the memory systems of this R2 unit. My father will know how to retrieve it. You must see this droid safely delivered to him on Alderaan. This is our most desperate hour. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. In this movie, you notice how everybody shits on the, the Force. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody is oh, yeah. like, besides Darth and uh, Ben. It's like, yeah, it's like nobody it's, it thinks it's religion, like effective anymore. You know, yeah, ancient uh, sorcery and everything. So, right. so Vader was seduced by the dark side of the Force. So they see Leia's message. They play the whole thing. She knows he served under her father. Important info is in R2's memory. They must get the they must plans, get to Alderaan. Right, to, yes. to Alder, Alderaan. So Alderaan, yeah. Whichever, I don't know. Ben tells saying. Luke, you must learn the ways of the Force. He wants Luke to go to Alderaan with him. And he tells Ben he can only take him as far as, where is it? Ankarani? Uh, that sounded, oh, Anchorhead? What? I don't he, know. I don't know. Anchorage. He's he talking says about Anchorhead in Disney. In Disney, he says Anchorhead. Okay, maybe that's it. I, I can't read my own writing. I can't. I, I can't be known to. I've, I, I've, I have you here as my uh, Star Wars go to. Oh boy. Uh oh. Just edit right over. Well, Dave's watching it right now. Dave, are you at the part now? Tell us what's happening. <laughs> yeah. No, they're in the um, compactor. Cool, cool, cool. So we see the Empire. That they're arguing about how vulnerable the Death Star is, and we get the Grand Moff Tarkin. Peter yes. Cushion. I actually think he's his acting is, even though he's from the old horror movies, he's yeah, he's, he's good. He's really good in this. He is good in this, but he's he wasn't like a huge star ever, was he? He was just like this. No, no, he was horror, like right? he was in the beat right horror movies. Those yes, hammer. He wasn't. He was no Alec Guinness. Right. So, how the hell did they even says, get? Was he just old and said, "Hey, I'll just do anything now"? I think Who? so. Money. Guinness. Alan Guinness. He needed the money. He needed the money. Really? Yeah, he hated movies. Like he hated like science fiction. Was that, was that what it was? Like he had something to That I'm sounds like something like that sounds like Robert Char or something like that. So uh let's see. He's talking about you know, fear will keep people in line. And Darth guarantees him the plans will be in their hands soon. So the other guy, this is when the other guy unwisely mocks the force. So we got our little force choke. Vader Magic. does the little choke. Grand Moff. Grand, I should, is it Grand Grand Tarkin? Grand Moff. M O F F. Grand Tarkin? Moff Tarkin. Yeah. Yeah. Said they're. Uh, he's like, stop it. He's like, let him go. 
Well, so really. it's and like he's, he's like, kind we're, of going to crush the rebellion. It almost seems charge, like right? he is in charge over Vader, even though Vader, you always felt like he might have been second in command in, in mm. the whole empire. Not really I don't anymore. think they would have, if they knew they were doing more, they might not even have killed off of, uh, spoiler alert, Grand Moff Tarkin, right? Right. They might not have killed him. That's true. Maybe it's because after this, now Vader really is second in command. Well, did they mention Palpatine in this? They don't mention the Emperor at all. I don't even know when the when they call him Palpatine. I don't even know if they call him that. They might have said the, the Emperor. I don't know. So they, okay, we get uh, Luke and Ben surveying the the place where the Jawas sold them. You can tell it was stormtroopers, right? But Ben can tell it was stormtroopers by the tracks and. Looks like, oh crap! You know, why would what would stormtroopers be doing here? And he's like, if they tracked them here, they must have tracked them to crap. So he goes to his aunt and uncle's. Pretty, uh, pretty horrifying burn. Pretty horrifying, right? And this is where you can say, okay, the empire may, may quote unquote be the govern governing body of whatever the galaxy, but this is where you can say, okay, they are they are definitely evil. Yes, you know, there's no yes, like. Yes, we know the empire. This isn't a rebellion of terrorists, you know, fighting and people like. Wait yep. a second, the empire. No, they a lot of good people on both sides. Yes, <laughs> takes a lot of good people on both sides. Yeah. Luke, uh, mildly, mildly, just uh, mildly bothered by his aunt and uncle. <laughs> he's um, he's more upset later. He certainly ben, is. But, but uh, you know, that's like, oh, there's yeah, nothing for me here. Let's go. So he goes back and he's like, oh shit. Ben, Ben's like, well, you would have been killed if you went there. But first, we see the Empire. We see the Tie Fighters. That's why Ben so, Kenobi actually had them killed, so so Luke would go with them. He secretly had. This them is true. Killed. I mean, he's hey, you got to do it. Well, you, well, you got do. nothing else to do. Come with me. He used the Force. So we're at the Death Star. Vader goes to see Leia. We're going to discuss the uh, location of the hidden Rebel base, and he has that droid, the, the thing with the that uh, droid that we see years later, used, still used. To try to get remember. whatever the, the question, whatever is the interrogator droid or something to yep with the something big like needle. that with a big needle right so but so this is when then then Luke goes back Ben tells him nothing could have been done you would have been killed too now he's like I want to go with Ben I want to become a Jedi like my daddy he didn't say that so they're overlooking the Moss Eisley spaceport and that's where you get the Moss Eisley spaceport you will never find more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We must be cautious. Just such That's a great, great line, line, right? So, pretty good, pretty good effects in this entire city, right? Uh, I this. mean, and again, it's a little added. You know, like the old space crews, you didn't see quite the night, the cool shadow, so it looked like it was higher. Little oh, really? Okay. Like some of I the know. some of the 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 stormtroopers riding those lizards. All that's a little yep, extra. Yep, yep. Those are Some all of the stuff I'm you not can kind of tell because it looks exactly. it looks almost too clean. But yeah. whenever it looks too clean or digital, then you know it's true. Yeah. So the stormtroopers asking for identification and they're like oh, they're screwed. And this is when Ben, you know, Ben Classic. does the mind control thing. You don't need to see these. These aren't the droids. Move along, and the guy these just keeps the, saying what he like, says. Yeah, these aren't the droids we're looking for. We'll, we'll move along. These aren't the droids. Yeah, it's good stuff. So they need a pilot. They got to find a pilot to take them to Alderaan. Uh, I do love that it's just, it's like, we need to do this. We need to get this. And that's how they kind of build the car the group. We need to get here. Oh, and then we see later what where they want to go. They don't get there. And then it will lead to, you know, all kind of, it works. Exactly. Step by step by step. So the great cantina scene, I was, you know, it's like because it's a space western. It's like a bar in a western, right? Pretty yeah, cool. it really is. But you could see that like they made some amazing uh, aliens, and then also they grabbed whatever masks they could see because one, one dude was just a devil, I think. One was a werewolf. Oh, there was, was a werewolf. Yeah. There was a guy, couple guys from NASA with uh, that. There was like tape over it. So we see che Chewbacca. The bartender yells at Luke. We don't. We don't sell their kind. So very racist. They, Oh, yeah. Very racist against Chewbacca. Well, supposedly droids, there was a backstory or something with the droids against... killed his family or something. Oh, oh yeah. It's oh. not against Chewbacca. It's against C-3PO. He throws them out. Yes. Yeah. So uh, Ben is bartering with Chewie. So this is when the ugly guy in the walrus face give, start giving Luke trouble. I, I like how Luke, I like how Luke uh, 
orders his drink. Has he ever been in a bar? He just grabs the guy's shoulder. He shakes his <laughs> shoulder and he's like points to the drinks. It's like that's not how it works. I think he got a milk too, like a loser. That's what Mikey would have done. That's what I did tonight. No, that wasn't a milk. That was what they all drink. Hmm. He would have taken a space gummy. So, uh, let's see. So yeah, okay. Luke, the, the guy doesn't like Luke. Neither of them like Luke. My friend doesn't and, like you either. Yeah. Yep. Out comes a lightsaber. Boom. Out comes a lightsaber. Boom. Takes the guy's arm off. For a it's Jedi, he's, you, the Jedi are you know really into peace. This guy's like, you don't like my friend? I'm yeah. going to chop your arm off. <laughs> well, he he was yeah. about to fire, but yeah, I know. Boom. Bloody mess. He left a bloody mess. Everybody right back to right back to their drinking, right? So yeah, they didn't waste this is when we we meet the great on solo. I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. Chewie here tells me you're looking for passage to the Alderaan system. Yes, indeed. If it's a fast ship. Fast ship? You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? Should I have? It's a ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. I've outrun Imperial starships. Not the local bulk cruisers, mind you. I'm talking about the big Karelian ships now. She's fast enough for you, old man. What's the cargo? Only passengers, myself, the boy, two droids, and no questions asked. And no questions. Must be wanted, right? I'm gonna. This is gonna cost you extra ten thousand. Luke's like, "What? Well, I could buy a new ship for that. Who's gonna fly it? I can fly it." So Ben says, two thousand now, fifteen thousand later." What? What is the money monetary? Uh, did they ever say? I always think it's credits. I just remember hearing credits. Oh, okay. But I don't know what the hell. So I didn't know if they ever said like 10,000, you know, bleep whatever. Bloops. Yeah, bleep know. bloops. So 15 more when we reach Alderaan. Han agrees. Meet me at docking station 94. So this is when Greedo shows up, right? <clears throat> After oh, Greedo. Can... Oh, is it Greedo or Guido? Jesus Christ. It's... It's Greedo, the killer pimp. <laughs> hey there Han Guido so Guido comes in um, in the prequels he would have called him Guido but no mm. sorry I'm parched that's alright so drink. says he already should have paid you know Jabba pulls the gun on him big bounty in his head they sit down Han's like I have the money but not with me and then you see him kind of loose you know t- unholstering his gun getting ready yep. Yep, and he's yeah right. You see him going. He's un, unholstering it, and you see it under the table. So, so they added right, Grigo, Grigo shooting first. Pretty right. dumb to change, right? Like he was because Han was saying, you know, our heroes gonna... don't show first. But like people argue that Han, you like the develop the growth of his character. Right, right? he's not he a hero. A better person. He, all he is is a greedy bastard right now. Also, if he shot first, this guy's holding a gun on him. Exactly. I don't see the problem. Sure, yeah. So, but okay, back on the Death Star, and let's see. Dow saying, you know, that didn't work on Leia. Grand Moff Tarkin says we should. Sh- we'll show her the real power of the Death Star. You know, set set course for Alderaan. So, back at Moss Eisley, someone following Luke and Ben. A like uh, face, oh, elephant face man or something. He's got a big. Is that? Is that what the? I don't even remember. It was a guy with like a big tusk, like a big uh, nose. I don't know what he's got—a a trunk or something. He keeps he's okay. following them around as they're walking around. At the same yep. time, um, that's when Han, in did in the remake ver in the special edition version, goes and sees Jabba. Yes, that's what we have. have. He's uh, Jabba's have, waiting at the Millennium Falcon. Have you seen the original? Have you seen the original clip where Jabba? I saw it real quick, but right, I see the one. I, so the one, the new one, is when he steps on his tail, right? Right. But like the original, always... he was just talking to a guy. Jabba was a man. Uh-huh. I don't even remember. Like, wow, that's crazy. You, so the scene is him meeting this big British guy looking like Friar Tuck, because they never say Jabba the Hut. It was just Jabba, Jabba, Jabba. And I gotta then, watch the clip. Yeah, at the end of the clip, he oh. goes, "You're, you know, you're a wonderful I mean, human being." Well. He says to, to oh yeah, I, yeah. right. That, which is crazy. They yeah, really should change that or something. Right. Which I guess is is a way. In a way, you could say, "Oh, he's being sarcastic." You know, you're yes, so true. Angry. But in the so, original scene, yeah, he's, uh, and they turn into this thing, which to me always made Java feel smaller. I thought in you know Jedi he was he was small. 
The one that you got, was tiny. He got old and fat. Yeah, I think it must have been. Like, so like, he you. tells him about the. He tells tells him about the the. He he demands uh fifteen percent, right? Yeah. He wants twenty. That's I'll give you fifteen. So you better not fail this time. So Han and Chewie board. Ben and Luke uh come to the ship. Luke calls it a piece of junk. Yep, and that's so right this, oh, when this, the uh that that whoever was following the spy, them. right, tells yeah. the stormtroopers where they are. They get in a little firefight and ship takes off. Get out of here. Boom. The the toy, the model. Millennium Falcon was awesome. Did you? I assume you had one. That, sh- that ship I, is just. I never could get one. I was. I couldn't afford it. No, I never <laughs> had that. My brother had. I think my brother had Darth Vader's little fighter at the end. One of those. But your brother liked this movie. Sure. I'm. I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, Sean. He had all the VHSs. I mean, he didn't like Sean, the first time. Sean and I would. Wa- Sean and I would watch Star Wars every fucking night for some reason. Nice. I don't know why. We should, we should have asked him was... on to make his debut. No, nah, he would have. He was. He's too busy making cheese boards with his friends. Charcuterie boards. You no, know, I, I have to say though, that is a weird thing, like a weird specific thing to say. When the last time, a couple of weeks ago, I went to Dave's house to watch a Patriots game, and he attempted to make me a cheese board. It was. The, <laughs> Are you talking about where, a charcuterie board? Exactly. It was. A, but instead, he put like four pieces of cheese and six crackers. It was such a piece of shit. His daughter took it away, embarrassed, and made a wonderful charcuterie board i guess with cheese and grapes and all kinds That's of shit stuff and dave laughed I'm, I'm... maybe he's flipping over the laser disc for his movie i don't know he's getting he's getting he's put he's whipping up a charcuterie board right now he's going to do so pull-ups there he is oh he's got his right, cheese so space pretty cheese. cool seeing the the front view of the millennium falcon right so they go to they go to light speed the cockpit yes that is a like a um just an iconic shot of yes anytime you see that shot, sitting in the cockpit and then you see the point of view right they see so back on death style uh leia rags on is that when they go to light speed right away too like hold on we go to light speed yep they go to light that shot like the stars the stars kind of getting pulled at you i mean it's incredible yeah i know awesome I should have expected to find you holding Vader's leash. I recognized your foul stench when I was brought on board. Charming to the last. You don't know how hard I found it signing the order to terminate your life. I'm surprised you had the courage to take the responsibility yourself. Princess Lear, before your execution, I would like you to be my guest at a ceremony that will make this battle station operational. No star system will dare oppose the Emperor now. The more you tighten your grip, Tark, the more star systems will slip through your fingers. Not after we demonstrate the power of this station. In a way, you have determined the choice of the planet that will be destroyed first. Since you are reluctant to provide us with the location of the rebel base, I have chosen to test this station's destructive power on your home planet of Alderaan. No. Alderaan is peace, but we have no weapons. You can't You will possibly... prefer another target, a military target? Then name the system. I grow tired of asking this, so it'll be the last time. Where is the rebel base? Dantooine. They're on Dantooine. There. You see, Lord Vader, she can be reasonable. Continue with the operation. You may fire when ready. What?! You're far too trusty. Dantooine is too remote to make an effective demonstration, but don't worry. We will deal with your rebel friends soon enough. No. So this is when he says, I'm going to show you the power of the, the Death Star. I'm going to test it on Alderaan. She's like, no, what do you mean? And Just every... tell me where the rebel base is. And she says, uh, yeah. Dantooine or something? Dantooine, he says, yeah, yeah. Dantooine. But Tarkin, like, he chews the scenery. Just his delivery. Every he does. He's, he's great. Like right I said, he's it, great. Yeah. In the... So he says he's going to blow up Alderaan anyways. He's like, yeah. Yeah. You, you, you're too uh, gullible, you know. Close it up. She didn't seem that shaken up about a whole planet. I don't know. Whole what was planet, the population? Assuming her parents are there. Probably population some of her of friends. Alderaan, right. He said her, millions. Yeah. I would assume billions. Maybe it's just a sparse planet. She's not a princess anymore, right? I mean, technically, no. Right. So... Back on the Millennium Falcon, Luke's practicing the Jedi skills with a lightsaber. R2 and Chewie playing chess that Dave mentioned. 
Han is mocking the force, calls it nonsense. And Ben puts on the helmet with the black shield but down. First, it's like much better. But first, Ben doesn't he kind of he, he kind of gets shaken up. Did that happen? Because he uh yes, I'm sorry, he did yeah. he felt a very he felt he, something he like felt millions a, of voices being silenced, first in terror and silence. Yep. That, that is true. That cheese I just ate, guys, had blue fucking mold on it. I had a blue goggle. Sorry. Well, that, well, you sure it wasn't blue of, cheese? Yeah, you sure it wasn't blue no, cheese? No, it wasn't. Ugh. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Gross. So that is David's highlight of the night. This is when they come <laughs> upon Alderaan and they were like, where, where the hell is it? Right. I love that. That it's like, it's supposed to be here. We're in the right spot. Yeah. And they see all these so, uh, the asteroids. Right. Do you think exactly. it would stop part of every nuke that we hit that's on this planet, the entire planet would be gone? No, I don't know if it would disintegrate like that exactly. No. If a, if we shot that it from a laser a... from the moon, maybe. So hmm. directly, right? That so concentrated. Quick, yeah. So uh, Grand Moff Tarkin is pissed that Leia lied. So that's what that's what he gets. Um, but so the Millennium Falcon comes up when Alderaan was. That's what I'm saying. They're like, what right. the hell? So this is when they see a Tie Fighter. They think like, how lost. could it be out this far in in this deep right. in space? So they're coming up too close to it. They're like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna take care of it. And they're like, how? it's so far. There's no there's no right. There's no there's no effort. It's it to, heading towards that small no moon. station for it to exactly. That's not a moon. That's it's great. Moon. Great score here too, right? So I have a bad. And feeling they have no about control. They lose the first... control. Tractor beam. Is that the first? Luke says I have a bad number. feeling about this because that becomes. I mean, that's yes. A... That's in every yep. movie. Forever, he does yeah. say that. I have a bad feeling. You, you see that, kid. So, uh, let's see. Grand Moff and Vader are talking about the ship. They think they're returning stolen plans to Leia, right? Yep. So, like, let's so get it. Vader aboard. goes down. They tell him nobody on board it must be a decoy. Not a great job searching it, right? No, they they just so, hiding in where where uh, where Han smuggles stuff. He never thought he'd be smuggling yep. himself. Where's cargo? So Vader says he he senses something, right? Something I haven't felt since, you know, been a while. Love that. They search the ship. There's no one here. And that's when the panels pop up and you see they're hiding in the smuggling compartments. The nice dialogue between him and Ben, right? It's kind of funny. Yes. When he's, when he's, he says, when he, um, oh, what did he I knew say? you were going to say that. The fool. He says, yes. "Who's the fool? The fool." He said, "Who's, who's the, the fool? fool? Who's more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him?" Right? Yeah, because it's a good line. He's like, "I have, a, I have an idea," right? So they're gonna, they're gonna. But that's uh, when he uh, says, "Leave that to me," right? When he's like, "We're yes, oh, gonna get out the, the tractor beam." He's like, "Leave that to me." Yeah, and then so they're gonna scan the ship. They carry it up. They they uh, call down to a couple of stormtroopers. They go up. You hear some blasts, which you yep. hear in a lot of movies, right? Yeah. Um, Command is trying to reach them on the radio. You see a stormtrooper come down. He taps his head. You know, bad transmitter. But it goes down. So the commander goes down. They, you know, Chewy pops out. Hand and Luke dressed like stormtroopers, and they uh, blast the guys right there. Right. Yep, they blast the guys, and then they. Uh, that's when they decide, you know, how they're going to get. Oh, that's when they start going through um, the computer, and they discover that the princess is. Yeah, R2 plugs okay. in. This is he, right. he knows everything. He knows where the power is, the the beam that's holding the, the ship. They need to cut the power there. They need Ben's gonna Ben's like, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Luke wants to go with them. He's like, you know, the force will always be with you. You know, Luke. Seems like that's a bad the last sign. time. That's the last so, time the two of them. Sense, see obviously, face to face. Sense that there's gonna be parting ways with him. Yes. Yeah. If, yes. If, if Dot was sensing him, I'm sure he was sensing Dot as well. Mm hmm. So, uh, let's see. Han calls Ben a fossil. Nice ending moment for them. So he says, "So R two, he says it to Luke. He doesn't." So R two's make it going crazy with the R two noise. It says the princess is there. She's scheduled to be terminated. Han says he isn't going anywhere. Luke whines, "They get to kill her." So <laughs> Luke's like, "She's rich." This is we talked to him. Into rich, it. so greedy. Now talks my first thought it. when he said that was. Is she still rich? Because her planet's gone. That's true. But apparently, true. she 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 took a withdrawal before she left. She moved a lot to the Cayman Islands. Yeah, to, I think. You're right. To take care of the. So, uh, she to to fund the rebellion, probably for the rebellion. Right. Yeah. Of course, nothing nothing untoward. 
So they have a plan. They they uh, put Chewie in cuffs. They tell C three PO to lock the doors. Uh, and stay. Right, Chewie and I mean uh, C three PO and R two stay in there, locked, yeah. whatever. So they're pretending to take Chewie as a prisoner. All past all sorts of people. They go down, take the elevator where where Leia's uh, held. And this is when the one of the commanders, where are you taking that thing? It's like, oh, right. he, he, he got loose. They pretend he gets loose for a second, and then they all just start shooting up everyone. Yeah, they all stop blasting, kill them all. So they look for the cell. This this kind of maybe this kind of cracked me up the most when Han was talking on the radio. That's a great part, yep. Uh everything's under control, situation normal. What happened? Uh it had a slight weapons malfunction. But uh, everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? We're sending a squad up. Uh, uh, negative, negative. We have a, a reactor leak here uh, now. Give us a few minutes to lock it down. Uh, large leak, very dangerous. Who is this? What's your operating number? Uh, boring conversation anyway. Luke, we're going to have company! We're like, all, uh, uh, everything's fine here. Uh, we're all fine. How are you? Yeah. yeah. How are just, you? He's like, and then, oh no, don't send anyone down. Um, we had a leak. You know, yeah. this ra- right, right, is a radiation or something. Uh, and then he's like, that was a boring conversation, anyways, yeah. after he blasts it, right? And that's when he, he yells, Luke, you know, we're going to have company. Great. You love that stuff as a kid. So Luke finds Leia. Too short for a stormtrooper? Huh? Oh, the uniform. I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you. You're who? I'm here to rescue you. I've got your R2 unit. I'm here with Ben Kenobi. Ben Kenobi? Where is he? Come on. Who are you? I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you. I'm here with Ben That's Kenobi. That's what she says. You're a little short for a stormtrooper. How hot yeah. was she, though, in that scene? David Hot Alert. Repeat. This is a David Hot Alert. This is not a test. She was. She was. Hot 19-year-old, you creep. Hot too damn. What? He said a hot 19-year-old, you creep. Hot, hot Solo's banging her in real life, you creep. Well, he's a creep too. We're all creeps because I agree with you. I think he was 15 years older than her too. Yeah. So, uh, all right. Um, he's like, I'm Luke, Luke Skywalker. I'm here with Ben Kenobi. That's yeah, the for... first time we hear the word Luke Skywalker. It's the first. Oh, really? The word Skywalker. I, I'm great. almost positive. So is... right away, he wants to bang his sister. Mm-hmm. But it's not his sister. Yeah. You know? As far right, as not at this it's just this is the only movie, right? Uh, so Veda's telling Moff, you know, he's here. I have, I have, uh, I have, a, I feel it. This is when Moff Tarkin, whatever, is downplays it. He's like, and he's like, yep, no, nope, he's here. I'm a, I must face shouldn't him. He alone. Be dead? Didn't he say, shouldn't he be dead by now? Yeah, oh, yeah, he might have said something like that. Chris, did you power watch Obi Wan? What's that? Did you watch Obi Wan? No. What? Is it a show? Are you kidding me? No. One of the Disney Plus shows. Come on. Great show. I watched um, The Mandalorian, and I want to watch Andor. Andor is great, but go watch Obi-Wan because it's fucking great. Is it on Disney Plus? Because I don't have it. You do? I don't have it. I'm going to get it. So troops arrive blasting, and so Leia complains, you know, this they have no escape route, right? Maybe you like to get back in your cell, your highness. There's a, right away, a lot of great lines. Heads. He calls them. He calls her your yep. worshipfulness, your highness. All yeah, yeah, things. yeah. Good stuff. Well, so well, trapped. Well, obviously, there's a lot of sexual tension already, though. Yes. Yeah. Was... The old hair pulling. Yeah. Hate each other already. Yeah. yeah. So, calls C3PO. There's no way out. I actually have here, you know, sexual tension. More sexual tension. Leia, Leia blasts a hole in the wall into the go- into the garbage flyboy. So that's when they were trapped. They all jump in there. This is this is a great scene still, right? This is iconic. This uh, for some reason, this so I feel like this, I remember this as a kid. This scene because it yeah. scared the hell it's out. It's so entertaining. So they hear something. They see a creature. What's the creature called, Michael? Uh, Diagnoga. Oh, yeah. Great. Look at you. Diagno. I don't know. Diagnoga. I'll go with Dianoga. I've heard I've when you say Dianoga, that sounds familiar. Um so they see the creatures eye stalk thing pull up to see where they yes. are, right? Pulls the Luke under. Luke! 
That always scary because they're standing around, but they could also be pulled deep under. I... Yeah, so he's under for a while. He yeah. pops up again. He goes under, and then the thing let go. Of him. They're like, "Why is it? Why is why did it let go?" Help him! What happened? I don't know. Just let go of me and disappear. <laughs> feeling about this walls are moving in so the stormtroopers come into with c-3po and r2r you know c-3po outsmarts them, them tells them some madman's heading to the prison level c-3po you know, those, R2 the stormtroopers aren't really the brightest not at all you know they're just so you're gonna have to remind me when the guy bangs his head mike because i i forgot Ooh, to write it down it, I, I remember seeing it. I think it's on the next. I think it's in the scene when they all come into the room to see the droids. Oh, okay. So right there, boom, they walk through and one just bumps his head. Yeah. That's good stuff. Um, So the walls are closing in. Luke's calling to C-3PO. They're freaking out. R2 where could he be? Where they are. It tells him to call them. C-3PO finally calls him. He's like, uh, Oh, Luke says, shut down all the garbage mashers uh, on the detention level. R2 does this thing. Are you there, sir? 3 po We've had some problems. Will you shut up and listen to me? Shut down all the garbage mashers on the detention level, will you? Do you copy? Shut down all the garbage mashers on the detention level. Shut down all the garbage mashers on the detention level. No, shut them all down. Hurry. <laughs> They're dying, R2. Curse my metal body. I wasn't fast enough. It's all my fault. My poor master. We're all right. You did great. They all, they're all psyched. They're all cheering. I love it. He's like, oh, there. C3PO they're, they're, yeah. thinks they're dying. They're That's like great. yelling. Yeah. That's good stuff. So here we go. You see Ben walking, finds the power supply, shuts it down. Uh, Land right around. Kind of going back and forth still. She calls Chewie a walking carpet. Ben distracts a couple of stone troopers. He's sneaking around. Um, Han starts to sees a bunch of, you know, they're going back to the ship. Han sees a bunch of uh, stone troopers. He, he chases them and then they chase him back. It's yep, another great. And then Luke scene. and Leia get cut off and they need to get across because Luke Luke shot it. Uh, the, the the controls for the little yep. bridge. They slam right. right. So they another shootout. Luke takes the thing out of his belt. Another uh, iconic um, scene that's like, I think yeah. they've made posters or, you know, this scene of him swinging over. She gives him a little kiss. <laughs> Yuck. Yeah. And they swing over. Ben takes out his lightsaber. It's about to that, happen. Yeah. So, so that's Han awesome. Chewie being chased. When he just ben, takes it out, right? Well, he walks over. He's holding it. Is this when he sees yeah. Darth? Yes. for you, Obi-Wan. We meet again at last. The circle is now complete. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. Only a master of evil, Darth. Yeah, after it, it's just it cut to Ben and okay. Han, and then finally you see Darth already has it. Then they're all ready to go. And then, exactly. Another great sound, right? I mean, how great are the sounds of the lightsaber? Incredible. Um, Even the the effect of the of the lightsaber in 1977. Incredible. There it is. Yeah. Amazing. Let's see. So we get it's people complain that, that it's too slow compared right. to the. Well, guess what? Know. It's two lumbering old people probably and. It's also like older. like they said it was like a old samurai movie. You right. know they don't go they're not going crazy. Yeah, uh, it was pretty pretty awesome. Yeah, Pow is a weak old man, and uh, Ben tells him, you know, if you strike me down, I will come back more powerful, more powerful than you could possibly imagine. imagine. Oh. Pretty awesome. Okay. That so, was the 
That was the line of the movie, right there. Yep, it was great. Uh, it's, Obi-Wan's great, right? I, I mean, I win, I win that, I win that take. That's the take of the, the night. Point awarded to David. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the take of the night. Okay, so I mean, think about it. Oh, he fucking had. It. First of all, he did all that training with Qui Gon to get to that moment, so he already knew it was coming. That's what you don't know, he, Chris. He, he might be the favorite character, right? Yes, I agree. All in this, in this first one. Oh, in if, this you watch, if you watch Obi Wan, you'll be like, "Yes, he is the best character." Not, watch, not, we're talking about this movie, but if you watch every Star Wars ever, Obi Wan's the favorite character. I yes. If, yeah. If if we talk in this movie, I think in this movie, I was talking with my buddy today, and I, I said, know. "Princess Leia is pretty, like nobody's really that compelling to me, except Princess Leia is." She's got a lot of spunk, you know, like she's ballsy. Yeah, she's but I mean, not she's like, a, she's leading this rebellion right. and stuff like that. She's not it's in awesome. peril. She's not like, oh, help me, you know. The... Right. Porkins. Everyone... So. What? Dave likes Porkins because Porkins. Porkins he's chubby. <laughs> Who? Porkins. He, they say his, They do say oh. his name. They say Porkins. I mean, this is where you say, "Wow, George Lucas, you couldn't come up with a better name for the fat <laughs> X-wing fighter, Porkins." Oh yeah, we'll get to him. Poor Porkins. So be right. So uh, <laughs> this is when okay, uh, they they're all trying to get to the ship. They're surrounded by uh, stormtroopers, and they all get distracted. They go to, to go see the fight. So. Um, like a school, yeah. They want to circle around the yeah, fight. Like, they want to see Obi Wan and Darth. I'm surprised just one of them doesn't like just take out his plaster and, uh, <laughs> and shoot. Yeah. I wanted to die, like Darth Vader to like hold on, hold back. This is me. I got this. Yeah, this was that's been in many movies. He's mine. Yeah, he's mine. So Luke looks over, and that's when Ben puts his his sword oh, up. Right. So great. So, Where he just boom. gives in. He gives up. Well, not gives up. Yeah. He just he's ready. Alec Guinness was very mad that first he's like, well, I'm killing you off. But that's when he, I guess he, gave, he told him he was getting how much he was getting, you know, points or whatever. But then also he's like, there's no death scene. <laughs> Just your clothes. Yeah. Right. But don't worry. We, we'll, you know, they should we, have had him. They should, why didn't they should have had him? They should have just had him killed, right? Because, but, well, I don't know. He went, to, know. A, he, went yeah. to, he went to the, he went to the ghost force. Yeah. I know. He's a space. Yeah, I know. He's a force that, that's ghost the point now. of it. Whatever. Right. I, mean, I, won that, I just won that remark too. Cool. Point awarded to David. If you if you say so. Dave, I think three wins allows you to go to bed early. So leave. It does. <laughs> oh, he's we still need to have. A, you need to ring a bell every time you I make a point. To, I just want to get the porkins. Is all I want to do. The, the, okay, the, gonna, he's him. in the movie for nine seconds. Like so. I visualize you this as four kids. I know, I know. So, you okay, do. so Luke looks over. He screams, "No!" Way more upset you. than than uh, heard me, right? who he, he, who he hasn't guy. seen in in years. No, no he heard of him. Been he with him for like two days. So, and then Luke hears, you know, runs. Luke, you know, he is, he is Ben's run. voice. All right, yep. they take off. They make it out of there. Luke's bummed. You get the sad music. We're not out of this yet. They you get think on the Ben gun could have said, this. Luke, by the way, stop kissing your sister. Yeah. He doesn't. Luke, by <laughs> he the way, I got some news for you. Ben knew. He could have did that. Give him a little heads up. He should have. It was selfish. So they, they like this is when too much. this scene is, is pretty cool. You get Luke and Han with the fighting the TIE fighters. They get in oh, the uh, yeah. they get on the guns. Those guns are just like they get hit. R two puts out the, puts out a fire, right? Luke takes one out. He's all excited, right? Are those nice guns job, kid. based on some cocky. real life like fighter in planes, probably. kind of those spinning seats. Man, those are so cool. It's probably, yeah. That's just you know, I don't know what turret or something is that what it's called? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Turret gun. Yes, it yeah. was exactly. They were they, they that was def. It's definitely modeled off after you know. Something real, yeah. Well, so cool. two stuff like that. Oh, it's the last one. Big explosion. That's it. We did it. There. Darth Vader tells him off. They just went into hyperspace. He's Luke like, is already right, happy. Is the he's tracking like, yeah. beacon place? Like he's yeah, completely. Exactly. It's he's like, over yeah. Ben quick. So too. your aunt and uncle. Yeah, kid's got a small attention span. So Le- Leia's like the only smart one. She's like, they, they must have let us go on purpose, right? They, they must be tracking us. I think it's too easy. So. 
she's like, I'm just happy to have schematics off of uh, for the Death Star. So Han's being a dick as long as I get paid. Oh, Luke, Luke asks Han what he thinks uh, about right. Leia. So, what do you think of her, Han? Trying not to, kid. Good. Still, still out of spirit. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think a princess and a guy like me? No. Totally Han's messing with him, right? He's jealous because he's like, I don't know, you know. You think, I... and he's like, no. He's like, I'm. He's mad. He wants to have relations with his he does. sibling. So, so the the Millennium Falcon lands on is it Yavin? Yeah. Yavin. Yep. Or is it the moon? Is it the moon of Yavin? That's well, where the rebel that's base funny. is. Yeah, it's know. true. It is the the moon of Yavin. I don't know. Yavin four or something. So, Leia gives him the plans. The end's kind of fast, doesn't it? You would like if it was really if it's it was today, like... if it was Avatar, this would be another hour and forty five minutes. Hey, isn't there like twenty? There's minutes like twenty five minutes yeah. left. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, the Empire knows where they are. They they know they they landed on Yavin. Yeah, they're about to orbit it, and, like, and General Jan Rodana, what's his name? Oof, I don't know the name of the guy, the rebellion guy who gives the speech. He gives him the talk. Yeah. He gives, gives him the, him the talk. talk. I have a note here. Who is this guy, Mikey? And then I looked it up. It was Jan Dodon. So he says the firepower is stronger than half the Starfleet. The battle station is heavily shielded and carries a firepower greater than half the Starfleet. Its defenses are designed around a direct, large scale assault. A small, one man fighter should be able to penetrate the outer defense. Pardon me for asking, sir, but what good are snub fighters going to be against that? Well, the Empire doesn't consider a small one-man fighter to be any threat, or they'd have a tighter defense. An analysis of the plans provided by Princess Leah has demonstrated a weakness in the battle station. The approach will not be easy. You're required to maneuver straight down this trench and skim the surface to this point. The target area is only two meters wide. It's a small thermal exhaust port right below the main port. The shaft leads directly to the reactor system. A precise hit will start a chain reaction which should destroy the station. Only a precise hit will set up a chain reaction. The shaft is ray shielded, so you'll have to use proton torpedoes. That's impossible, even for a computer. But it's not impossible. I used to bullseye womp rats in my T-16 back home. They're not much bigger than team eaters. Then man your ships, and may the force be with you. Guy says, that's impossible. Luke says, I, I used to bullseye womp rats in my uh, my tie back home. Yep. I don't know. In my T-16, sorry. So Luke's pissed that Han is leaving. Well, actually, I, I like, just thought tries the, to get him to come. after the speech, the guy says, uh, and may the force be with you. So he's the first one to fully say may the force oh, be yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm like, okay, the, the rebels believe in the force. And then Han. True, true. Most Han of the people will like. says it when you, you, right when you say he's leaving. Han does say it later. Him. So, you got your reward and you're just leaving then? That's right, yeah. Got some old debts I got to pay off with this stuff. Even if I didn't, you don't think I'd be fool enough to stick around here, do you? Why don't you come with us? Pretty good in a fight. Could use you. Come on. Why don't you take a look around? You know what's about to happen, what they're up against? They could use a good pilot like you. You're turning your back on them. What good's a reward if you ain't around to use it? Besides, attacking that battle station ain't my idea of courage. It's more like suicide. All right. Well, take care of yourself, Han. I guess that's what you're best at, isn't it? Hey, Luke. May the force be with you. What are you looking at? I know what I'm doing. He tells Luke it's suicide, and then he's like, yeah, yeah you know, well, may the force be, be with you. Luke's so like, Leia, whatever. Leia kisses uh, Luke on the cheek. He's his buddy Biggs. It's bad. Uh, you know, you know, it's it's bad news when he says, "Tell all your stories when you get back." You know, when we yeah. get back from this mission. So R2's and Luke ship off. 
obviously his X wing. So, so we could use a better R2 the gold unit. Gold, they provide cover. Hmm? Where he says, um, you know, do you want a different R2 unit? He's like, no. Oh, yeah. this one. Like, no. And you've, like, exactly. You, I, I know we're going ahead, but you, it's Luke and R2 are kind of like the duo for years. And True. It's, um, this is this is going to make me watch. I'm going to watch uh, some other ones. Hey, you have to. Now. Again, I mean, yeah, I, I've right. seen almost all of them except the shows. So Luke's, uh, where are we? I was talking about the Y wings, gold. They provide the cover. You know all that stuff, right, Mike? He sure, has sure, been sure. gold leader, Luke, red leader, blue leader. Yeah. Luke, the force will will be with you. Uh, Death Star is approaching. Luke's red five, by the way. He said red. Right. So they approach the the big guns of the uh, Death Star are firing. The fat fighter, I have written down. I'm sorry. Well, it does. Uh, it's not the fat fighter. He's got a name. Or, now, I wish great. I knew. Can someone win this podcast? Yeah, David, That's... who is his name? What's his name? Or because you guys are the text I sent you. <laughs> no, but what's fan? And no. maybe it, did you send me this text? But what's fantastic because we don't look at our phones. We're on the podcast. Was someone made a video? Is this what you sent? Someone made a video of Porkins and they edited in fast food in front of him. So it looks like he's holding like fast food and it's so <laughs> well done. It is so well done that it's like, it is hilarious. Cause like, I got to check like, that out. Yeah. Right. Does he have like hamburgers and shakes or something? Yes. Or yeah. yeah. SOB. And that guy, you know, that guy went on to be in movies like Batman and uh, maybe Barton Fink. He's even something. One of these. This guy's been in a few things. Was he in Barton Fink? We- I, I, have you seen Barton Fink, Michael? No, no. But if it's, I remember looking him up because he was in Batman '89. I've seen that many. You times. don't think my theory is uh, kind of? I think your theory is very right. It's just mean. <laughs> it's not mean. It's um, uh, oh, speaking of this was what I was gonna I, the 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 other great sound movie is Blowout. Remember that we were talking about that you had never seen. That, sure. that just reminded me as far as like sound that like sound mixing and sound editing. Okay, back back to our uh, our fight. Root, Luke, trust your feelings. He hears. Tie fight is a coming. Great sound, I always say. And we got kill one rebel. Uh, Biggs kills the guy on Luke's tail. Vader's in a tie fighter. Yeah, Vader. What you say, Mike? Vader. Vader ends up going on himself because he's a pretty great pilot himself. Yep, it's pretty awesome. I was uh, realizing rewatching it again for the third time. Just the, the shots, kind of the point point of view. The point of, of view, of, like how they just brought a camera down slowly. and just, Yeah, and then they go into the trench, the, which is, we'll get to. is great. The escape of what they make this Death Star look like is oh, it's great. incredible. So uh, Veda takes Scale. out three of them fast, right? Yep. And then so the guy wants uh, Moff, Grand Moff Tarkin to evacuate. He's like, no, no, I'm not going to. Not gonna evacuate, and then that one guy holds holds it yeah. off for a few seconds. That uh, one guy's like, you know, they have a pretty good plan. We kind of know about this. We know there's this weakness they could use yeah. to exploit. We should yeah. leave. So maybe you should just get off. You can be in the sequels, he said. You can be in the prequels yeah. and the, all the sequels. Well, so we, we uh, don't have to digitally remake you. I guess Biggs gets blasted. I don't remember exactly how, and well, that other guy is 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 uh, getting close, right? I only need you know a few more seconds. And yep, he, he like drops, three, three, and he, he drops it in. It, it goes down. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, doesn't, doesn't it didn't get sucked uh, oh, in no. or something. The shot didn't get pulled but in. Biggs hadn't got killed yet. I write. Uh, Somebody left. Uh, Somebody says I'm all, I'm all over the place. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't keep track of how many exactly. rebel fighters there, there were. There was a guy. I was like, oh, looked... Luke's the last one, and then I'm like, oh right. no, there's four other. But there were two guys that looked like Biggs, and there was a guy who looked like Biggs. Yes, yes, exactly. So, um, you get the. The point of view shot that we were talking about goes down the trench. It's just like Beggar's Canyon back home. So right next to it, that's the uh, big, this big finally gets killed, I think. So this is when uh, finally Ben tells him to use the force. Use the force, Luke. Let go. The force is strong in this one. Luke, trust me. Switched off your targeting computer. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm all right. All right, turns off the targeting computer, and this is Invader gives it the force of strong with this one. They're like R2 Luke, gets blasted, right? Right. R2 gets blasted. They're like, you, Luke, you turned off your uh, computer. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm good. Uh, about to blast the rebel. About to blast the uh, the planet. And they're almost in range. Vader has Luke lined up, and boom, and you get uh, what? Yeah, Han's helping out. Gives it a. Yeah. Yeah. All clear, kid. Pretty cool music, right? You're all clear, kid. Now let's blow this thing and go Death Star blows up. It's a great shot, kid. And you hear Obi Wan's Obi Wan's voice. And One in a million. Luke yep. gets Luke gets back, hugs all around. He's pretty happy, you know, that all his loved ones are dead, but still happy. R two gets shot up. You must repair him. You get a, like I said, quick ending, quick to the ceremony. Trumpets, the theme song. Leia's looking hot at the end. Hot in that scene. Yep. Yeah. She only gives out two medals. Puts... Che- Chewie doesn't get one. Chewie, supposedly in the comics, it, was, it said Chewie did get one, but she, right. he was too tall. Oh, Wait, my oh that. that's how they kind of went around it. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But right, more more racism. And I, swear, so, um, I remember reading that in that ending scene, people were like snickering, like, what the hell movie are we making? The crowd of people like, they don't know. They still don't know what they had when they're shooting this, all this stuff. That end scene is funny. Cause uh, it's kind of corny, right? A little bit. Yeah. You know, like they're all they're getting their medals and no, no, it's great. Right. It's great. I kind of like that. You, you like that. It was fast. You know, sometimes you're like, I don't want yeah. like a, um, that a drawn out, drawn out ending. That, so, I guess Lucas was like demanded only two things. Well, he demanded a lot eventually, but right away he said, uh, I, I want the scroll at the beginning and I want, a, I want an award ceremony. It, it's like oh, yeah? a weird thing for him to request. So it was a great, be great. A great and it's a great a ending. If, if nothing ever came from it, it kind of like, it killed the death star. So you think the whole empire is dead. Even right. though that's why it was, could have right. been self-contained. Yeah. And, they get the awards. Everyone's happy. And it's like the happy ending. Porkins dies. It had Porkins its own dies. plot. Yeah. It had its own plot. Porkins family, also... you know, his widow and seven kids are, you know, they're not happy, but the greater good. Exactly. A lot of rebel fighters died that day. A lot of, a lot of innocent uh, people who thought they were working good, working for the Empire, just blew up. Secretaries, <laughs> maids, yep. all these people like construction yeah. workers. We're almost finished. They had no idea. Well, Excellent. Great Excellent stuff. Classic. In memoriam for Porkins. In memoriam for Porkins. There's gonna be a lot of a lot of <laughs> clips, a lot of a lot of music, I'm sure, played throughout this episode, a lot of uh, great quotes. But next time, it's gonna be a little easier because next That's movie we're doing. That's the segue. The next <laughs> movie we're going to be doing. I'm jumping right to the next thing. Uh, we're doing a movie that Dave's going to have to read again because this movie is uh, Danish. Oh, God. What a life. That's right. Not not the not the delicious Danish treat. This is a movie. Don't roll Dave, your eyes, Dave. You roll your eyes. You are going to friggin' love this movie. I'm just gonna yeah. say it right now. Yes. You after you're gonna like, be like I love. I did love um, the other movie we watched. That yeah. I read. But I think you're gonna like this one even. Did you see the trailer? No. I'll watch it. Watch the trailer. So, I just yes, sent you. We are watching from 2020. Drinking. Starring Mads Mikkelsen, we are watching Another Round, which is a movie that uh, Chris pushed on me to watch one year for Movie Month for my other podcast. And my God, 
it was like, I don't care about reading. It's so good. And the ending. So like, you know what? That's all I'm going to say. It's just a yeah. question. A question. Do you have a picture of Chris like naked in your room? Because you do anything he tells you to do. I've been telling you to watch The Graduate for fucking decades. He's seen The Graduate. Because we said we we're going to watch it together. I would say the first time I remember you telling me about The Graduate was when we started doing this podcast. I don't know no, you telling me about so it for decades. Shit. I don't remember anything well, about that. You know, but there's also the, the fact that you're you're an idiot. Yeah. So I think. Right. <laughs> and you don't listen to my other podcast. He does. And he took interest. You don't in watch him. movies after 1970s. Oh, oh, yeah. No, I'm talking oh, to Dave. Yeah. He doesn't watch I, movies after. You You watch them after I tell you to watch them. Right. He, for your, he, you know, for, he gives for me suggestions. Pod. I don't listen to them all. And I don't like them all. I like this one. Yeah. Exactly. Like, for, every, for every another uh, round, there's a wrath of man. It happens. I like, I like right. both. Let's say, let's call it ninety nine percent. Right. Don't, yeah, the, you know, I'll go with that. Don't yeah. don't try to don't try to shit on it. Shit on it. Shit on it. I know. I'm just trying to find one movie just of, that was the one. Just that really Dave. was the one. But yeah, uh, Dave just Dave's just mad because because um, you know Chris and I have this special <laughs> relationship. Yeah. Mentor mentee and Chris Dave's. Oh, I That's thought right. you were about to drink a candle. He's blowing out a There's candle. always a third when you have three. You know, it's the dynamic of three. It's like three brothers. There's right. always a. You know, there's always a David, the, the third, yeah. right? Yeah. Especially when they don't pay attention and they're poor at their job. They're watching the movie. They get up. <laughs> they get up. They get up during the podcast to leave and get cheese. Then they get up in the podcast to throw up the cheese because there's mold on it. It just happens. It happens in every. Just podcast. kidding, buddy. Have a great vacation. <laughs> yes, David. Have a wonderful time in in vacation. Uh, how long are you gone for? Seven days. Seven days. Well, hope. Well, oh. by the time you're back, there'll be a new podcast waiting for you. Uh, this this Star Wars podcast. And uh, just to let people know, you can find us on Twitter and Instagram, on Twitter at fine underscore movies, on Instagram at fine movies. You can also find Mikey at pornhub.com, um, unabashed animal That's sex. That's fans only. That's his own fans only. <laughs> That's my fans only. You, you have to subscribe for that one. Uh, hopefully you'll find Dave in a Turks and Caicos prison. I really hope that happens. It would be just <laughs> like Midnight highlight. Express. Yeah. Uh, I love Chris, De Niro. I love De Niro and Midnight Express. <laughs> Chris, any parting words? Nope. Just have a have a great night. Enjoy. And Dave, watch that. Watch that. Just watch the trailer. Yeah. I will. I will. Nope. I'll watch it. Okay. David, any parting words? Uh, no, not really. I just right. took a gummy. To he bed. just took a gummy, so he's nice. he's he's fading <laughs> before our eyes. What's so, that? The guaranteed fifteen minutes to put you to bed, gummy. So let's see Excellent. what happens. That's good. I wish you took that at the beginning of this. That would have been great. Next <laughs> time you have to do that, at least for a movie we don't we don't care about your input for. Uh, so uh, that's it. Happy New Year, everybody. Oh, wait, I guess, David, any, uh, say goodbye, David. Bye, guys. Yeah, all right. Bye, goodbye. Bing, bang, boom, Dave. And Dave, what time you go? You have to wake up at 3? Yeah. I'm going to bed now. Okay. Go to, go to, nice. go to bed. Jeez. Yeah, goodbye. We talk about great movies while drinking. We talk about great movies while drinking. Yeah, we talk about great movies while drinking. Subscribe. We feel fine. Dave, where are you going? Turks and Caicos. Both? Nice. You been there? No. Heard I've good never things. been. No. Nice belly. Oh, my God. I assume you're going to wear a shirt on the beach down there based on what I just saw. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mikey. Please. <laughs> I said that to him the other day at his house. Next thing you know, he's doing pull-ups. First of all, uh, there's not a ounce of body fat on me. Or hair. Or wow. body hair. That would be weird if there wasn't an ounce of body fat on you. Fat not experts.